Really uh, enjoyed fall camp. The chemistry of this team, I think, is uh, very unique. So, uh, just actually had a meeting this morning where we went through some team goals, set those things out in front of us, uh, uh, got into game week preparation, able to uh, narrow it in yesterday. Wisconsin star tailback Monte Ball is fully cleared and ready to go for the Badgers opener against Northern Iowa. Everybody on defense knows they're going to run Monte Ball. If he's healthy and if Danny O'Brien takes some of the pressure off of that running game, I think Monte Ball could have a huge year. After nearly a month of training camp and game prep, the Badgers have finally reached game day. Well, we got the second longest winning streak in college football for a reason. Our fans are great. Our, our, our people get into it. Uh, camp Randall is a, a very electric environment. cover here temperature in the upper 70s a little bit of a breeze coming out of the north as we begin year seven of the Brett Bielema era here at the University of Wisconsin the back-to-back -back Big Ten champions about to begin their season good afternoon from Camp Randall Stadium running out of the tunnel at Camp Randall is always a special experience for David Gilbert who missed most of the 2011 season with injury it was also a relief you know like I haven't done it in a while but it was good to get back, get the feeling back. Uh, I had to, the only thing I had to do was not be so impatient with myself. I realized it was the first game, and just realized that the jump from that first game to the second game is always huge, and it will be huge. So just keep working. Gilbert and the Wisconsin defense stifled the Northern Iowa attack in the first half, holding the Panthers scoreless. On the other side of the ball. Wisconsin's offense came up with a Kyle French field goal on its first possession. 32-yard field goal try for Kyle French. A little bit left of center. Here's the snap. Spot kick is in the air, and it is good. Badgers first on the board. After another drive ended with a field goal, the offense notched its first touchdown late in the second quarter when quarterback Danny O'Brien located Jared Aberderis in the back corner of the end zone. O'Brien scans the defense, barks out the signals, takes the snap, back the throw, pressure coming, left side pass, end zone, Aberderis makes the catch, touchdown Wisconsin. O'Brien to Aberderis, 12-0 Wisconsin. The third quarter brought about a familiar sight for Badger fans. Monte Ball took his team to the one-yard line, and everyone knew what to expect next. Monte Ball goes into this season needing 18 touchdowns for the all-time NCAA record. We really love having Monte back there and, and what he does for us. Um, so for, for us, I think at the, at the one-yard line, um, it's kind of our responsibility to get him in. So it's kind of our way of paying him back for what he does for us in, in the field. You know? So it's our job really just to, to push the people back and will them back into the end zone. Here's the tailback, Cadigan the fullback. Handoff, Monte Ball over the right side, fights his way to the end zone. Touchdown, Monte Ball from a yard away. Ball in for the first time this season. After a UNI score, the Badgers return fire with their most explosive play of the day. They'll fake the fly sweep, play fake O'Brien. Has time, winds up, throws it deep, right side. Aberdares at the 10, at the 5, touchdown Wisconsin. O'Brien to Aberdares, 
for six. The fourth quarter saw a few lapses from Wisconsin's defense, and the Panthers proved why they're a perennial power at the FCS level. As the fourth quarter ticked on, Wisconsin needed a stop out of its defense. You know, there really isn't a whole lot being said other than, you know, it was just kind of everyone knew what needed to happen. You know, we obviously knew that someone needed to step up and make a play. Two receivers left, one to the right. Cole Morgan lines up in the shotgun. David Johnson to his right. They're on their feet in Madison. Here's the snap. Cole Morgan to throw. Under pressure. Passes deflected. Incomplete. Cole Morgan got belted as he threw the ball. And the Badger defense gets a stop as Badger Nation sighs with relief. While it wasn't the prettiest win for the Badgers, the 26-21 victory provided a place to start. The team emerged 1-0 and prepared to go back to work. All right, so I think what we just proved, first off, you're a good football team. You're a very good football team that's capable of playing with anybody in the country. But if we don't play four quarters... Um, something positive we take, uh, we played well for the for a half. Um, we played fast, we played physical. I mean, it's the way we practice. Honestly, we, we need to uh, practice finishing and practice playing the way we did in the first quarter all the way through the fourth. Uh, the same thing that happened in the game happens in practice. Um, you know, I don't know what it is. We give so much in the beginning, we just have to keep our effort consistent. Everyone was doing good things here and there, but we never were doing it all together. So I think once we get everybody together and start hitting our assignments and getting all of our techniques right, I think that we have a, a really good chance at moving forward. All right, we have to get a lot better in a short amount of time. The good news is we will, correct? I think a lot of guys' technique were pretty good. We we're off a little bit on aiming points here and there, but that's something that can that can really be fixed. I think the technique is going to I mean, ultimately, it's up to us how good we're going to play. Um, you know, the coaches have given us all the tools, um, and now it's just up to us, you know, whether we want to go out and execute it and whether it's important enough to us, you know, to really make it happen. I want to call the board with a message. We're going to travel out there, and it's going to be the next step in the chapter of the 2012 Badgers. Everybody on board? All right, gentlemen, call it up. So you know, one, three, one, two, three, yeah.